Hey yo, what's up my friends? It's Patrick here and here is Meti. Yo, salamun alaikum. And welcome to this exclusive video here interview with Nick Channon, uh, a producer from EA. We were at the EA hands on event in Cologne and got our hands on FIFA 15. This year is an exclusive interview uh, we were able to um, do with Nick Channon, the producer, and uh, we will want to show it to you now and um, yeah, Meti has to say th something here. He was with me and his channel is also in the description below so you can, so you can check him out. Yes, of course, you can find on my channel a lot of, a lot of different things. For example, uh, wagers, pink slips and of course FIFA 15 content, for example, uh, predictions how the um, new player ratings could be in the new FIFA game. So um, yes, uh, the interview will start now. Uh, for your information, we only had uh, a few minutes to talk to him. So of course we weren't able to uh, ask all the questions we've got. So I hope you it will be okay for you. Make sure to hit the like button. Would be amazing to hit, hit uh, 500 likes for FIFA 15. And have fun with the video. Check out Meti and we are out. Peace. Yeah, thank you Nick uh, for the opportunity uh, for the interview here. My name is Patrick, this is Meti, and um, yes, we got some questions for you. Um, okay. First question would be, um, what do you think is the biggest improvement in FIFA 15 so far? Uh, that's a good question. I think, you know, for me, uh, one of the things that we're really sort of happy about is just the, the visuals. Um, you know, obviously working on the player model, just shoulders were always a little bit of a problem for us, but the, the physically based rendering has dramatically changed just how the game looks, it looks more realistic. We're using sort of physical properties of the world. Also, the little, the, the, not the little things, but the details around the pitch, just the pitch where players now track, we're tracking each step and just how, you know, all the different footprints, slide tackle, you see it, the, pit, the, the kits get, get dirty. So, you know, for me, that's obviously a big change. The game feels really nice right now, the, the responsiveness, uh, the tackles, the fact that you can win possession much more easily than previously where the ball would just come loose and you could lose the ball. That feeling of responsiveness, you know, feels really nice. I think that, you know, the the, the, the ball the ball physics around the touches, um, you know, give the synergy between the foot and the ball feel very, very different. But creating these um, moments in the game that we just didn't have before feeling up very, very dynamic. So, you know, lots of things. I just think the game feels very different to last year and we're, we're really excited about that. Okay, and um, in the presentation before you um, or Sebastian talked about new skill moves. Yeah. Um, how many new skills <laughs> will be in the FIFA 15? We're still looking at, we're still working on them, so that the, the final number isn't there yet. So I, I'm not going to speculate on exactly how many, but there's a number of new ones. There's some cool little little flicks, as you saw. There's like an over and back kind of move uh, in in the Ronaldo video that you saw. So you know, we're always trying to add a few more things in here. We know skill moves are very popular. Um, you know, especially for you guys in the community and, and a lot of FUT players, really the skillers like the, you know, the new skill moves. So, you know, it's also something that we're trying to add and there's obviously quite a few new ones this year. And even little things like, you know, the, the, um, the fake pass animation that you saw there was yes, really, uh, what, really nice. Yes, it was quite nice when we played it yeah. um, some minutes ago and uh, new celebrations the same, I think. And yeah, especially having 10 men around celebrations, which we've never been able to sort of get all the players into position before. So again, I just think a nice little level of authenticity. You score a big goal in a big game, and the play, you know the team goes kind of crazy uh, to celebrate that moment. That's you know we talked a lot about emotion in here. We're obviously doing a lot about tracking the emotion of the players, and that's just another element to it. Mm. Really helping you when you're playing feel the emotion. I mean, for me, football is <coughs> the most emotive sport there is. You know that feeling of rival fans translating onto the pitch, the atmosphere of the game. When players don't react to different situations, you kind of lose that. Mo feeling of believability, which obviously we now have. Yes, Nick, um, in your presentation, um, there was um, were some clips about the atmosphere in the stadium. Are yep. you going to include some choreographies from different clubs? For example, we saw Liverpool, um, yep. you never walk alone. Are there going to be um, special choreographies like in Dortmund or... I, there are, I mean, obviously Dortmund, you saw the yellow wall, that's something yes. that we have in there. You saw the Poznan from Manchester City. So there are a number of those in there. Okay. You saw the, the, the bouncing up and down, sort of the Boca fans, which is much more South American. So, you know, those elements will all be there. They're going to be timed to, the, to audio as well, which we, we hadn't really timed the audio of the crowd and, uh, and, and then singing as one before, which we now have. So trying to bring in that personality, trying to have a different feeling depending on where you're playing in the world as well. So, you know, it's really important that obviously we now get the emotion reaction of the players, we want to have it from the crowd as well. 
And um, yes, you talked about um, yeah the footsteps, for example, on the pitch. So when we're starting the match, the pitch looks clear and everything is nice. Yeah. The grass is green, and yeah. uh, when we continue to play, 16th minute or 17th minute, we've got some uh, footsteps uh, there. Uh, and you also talked about the ball, the ball yeah. um, curl, and uh, and so on. Is uh, the curl on the ball, for example, when we play a low pass, um, yeah, interacting with the footsteps or? Right. No, uh, no, we we haven't done that yet. It's something that we we looked at and we thought about, but. Um, we don't want it to feel like it feels ra there's random bumps. So yes. it's not reacting with the pitch, it's not reacting with divots right now, the ball. Um, it's just visual. It's just a visual thing, but we do track the footprints of the players, so you are, we are authentically laying down where the players are actually moving on the pitch. If you see a slide tackle, you'll see a slide mark. Um, you know where that player actually slid so you know we're looking at all of these things but it, it doesn't affect the ball itself okay we haven't had the opportunity to play in the snow right now right is it something special so um, will we uh, get more information later in terms of playing in the snow uh, is the, the, the way you actually play in the snow is, is similar to you know obviously we're layering in lots of new things in terms of the physics and stuff like that so you know it might change slightly but in terms of specifically for snow we're not adding anything mm. you know any new mechanics specifically for that, that pitch type yes a big question in the community is um, about the license in FIFA 15 um, <laughs> I know you can't say so much about it but it would be um, great to know for the people in the community yeah. um, especially the Turkish League or some <laughs> um, national teams like Croatia um, okay. who are participating at the World Cup um, a lot of people in the community are missing this, these right. teams um, yeah, I haven't heard that mentioned before, it's the first time I've heard it Okay, <laughs> no, I'm joking <laughs> <laughs> no, so uh, we will talk about uh, anything new we we always talk about closer to, to the launch of the game. When we do the first look, which this is the first time we've talked about the new game, we focus in on gameplay, and obviously this year we've got the emotional visuals that we talked about. So as, as we progress, we'll start to talk about anything in game modes. We'll talk about anything around the authenticity and, and anything new that we'll be adding. Um, and, and we've got a few other things to come as well. But rest assured, if there is something, it will be announced later on. Okay. All right, sorry. <laughs> no, no problem. <laughs> Um, I just played with Real Madrid some yeah. minutes ago and uh, I took off a long shot from f uh, 40 yards with Ronaldo and okay. I think pure shot is more improved right now. I mean, I hit the target and uh, just looks crazy how the ball is uh, flying. Is this also a new thing here when uh, ball physics is interacting with the new curl of the ball and everything so yeah. pure shot is even better now? Yeah, so if you look at the analogy really is if you look at pure shot that we did last year, um, it was all about making sure that we had incredibly um, realistic um, physics as it would act in the real world in the air we've now brought that to the ground as well so it's all about the contacts on the pitch as well so whenever you touch the ball um, the, the ball now will react based on where you touch it where the player touches it with its mm. feet previously we didn't maintain momentum of the ball when the ball was on the ground so as the ball came into my feet we actually stopped the spin of the ball and then re-impart spin as, as you passed so that feeling of momentum was taken away so you couldn't really get the sort of tiki tacker passes that you know the Barcelona's this world play we couldn't because we weren't preserving the momentum if you saw in the video it was the deflection um, where the ball hit and it just came off the bottom of the leg and it went down into the goal that previously would have gone straight down because we, we weren't preserving the momentum of the ball at that point so not only does it look nice it's having a dramatic effect on the feeling of the game so the, the passing feels really nice it feels fluid uh, the headers are actually now looking at how the spin of the ball as it comes in so if you're glancing header with the ball it'll feel really nice but you might start to see shots that you know if the ball's coming in funny it might skew a shot up in the air so something that's going to help us a little bit with overpowered headers we're working on them anyway um, but these kinds of things having a dramatic effect on the feeling of the game on top of what we did around mm. shooting last year absolutely yeah i really have to say that the visual effects um are improving uh, the feeling yes even better absolutely that's right and um, i think there's also more gameplay information to come later there is some, a few more things to talk about, yes. And this was more based on uh, visualities now yep. and a few turns and everything, movement. Yep. But uh, the whole new gameplay information will be announced later. There'll be some more. I mean, obviously we talked a lot about a lot today. There's a lot of things that we're doing around feedback from, from the community. And, you know, there's a feeling that the game wasn't completely responsive at times. I think that's been uh, fixed and will continue to be 
tuned and polished as we move forward. You know, we're looking at through balls, headers, all these things that, that you know, we had feedback on last year are being, are being tuned constantly. I think the defending side, using your body, but also the possession tackles really help balance out the game. And obviously, brand new stuff around the AI that we've never had before where, mm. you know, they park the bus on you in the, uh, we talk the, in the mix of stuff. <laughs> Excuse me, what we want is when you're playing the AI to feel like you're playing much more of a human being. These are the things that you might do to me while you're playing the game. So, you know, if I'm 1 0 up, you might then so okay, sorry, if you're 1 0 up, sorry, you might go defensive in the last 10 minutes just to make sure you don't concede that late goal. You know, if you're 1 0 down, you're going to go a little bit more direct, trying to get scoring chances. We want the AI to feel like you're playing a little bit more of a human, which, mm. you know, adds to the variety and also makes you think. Uh, when you're playing the AI as well. Mm. Got a question? Should I ask about, <laughs> yeah, from the community we talked yeah. about it. Um, a big uh, topic is always momentum. Right. <clears throat> it's called momentum when, uh, the, for example, it feels uh, that we um, yeah, get behind uh, after we are 3-0 in front. Yeah. <clears throat> we are getting a goal against us and yeah. another one and a deflection and everything. Yeah. Sometimes it's a psychological thing, I think. Totally. But. Totally. Yes. Okay. So. Yeah. Absolutely. And I think that's the thing, right? Is, you know, there's. It's funny. You watch any sport. You know, it was like what, what Champions League final this weekend. You know, Atletico won the up, and then Real Madrid scored three minutes into injury time. You know, it's that natural thing of, you know, they're about to win the Champions League. You know, they won the league. Now they're going to win the Champions League, and you know, tension and these, these things happen. Um, we don't have momentum in our game. We've mentioned it many, many times. Yes, it's not something that we have. So, you know, I think a lot of this is, you know, it's just the natural outcome of a sport. You know, what can happen? There are natural emergent things that can happen in our game um, just naturally. You know, you as a player will react differently you know three and a half and maybe somebody scores a goal on you it's like oh I've got to hold out you know so these are the natural things that happen not just within FIFA but any sport and any sports game so that's kind of the part of it and I think you know you see it all the time I was watching the um, I was at the airport yesterday and I saw the, the playoff for league two I think in England and you know what the Lake Norian were two nil up and they're going to go up into the championship you know that's huge for them and then they, the other team comes back and score two late goals and they lose on penalties so You know, these things happen uh, in the real world and, and, and happen in our game as well. And uh, any new things in Ultimate Team? You can talk about it now? Uh, not right now. We will be talking about Ultimate Team uh, at a later date, but not, not today. Okay, so thank you for the interview, no Nick. No problem. All right, great to meet you. Thanks for coming in. Yes, thank, thank you. you and uh, have, a, have a nice day. Thanks.